everyone! I hope you're feeling creative today because we're going to be making some art using rubber bands. We're outside for today's project because it's going to get a little messy. So be sure to ask for a grown-up's permission before you try this at home. Now let's get our supplies together. Isn't that fun? I hope you get to try to make your very own abstract art too. We'd love to see your masterpieces. You know, this is only one type of art. There are so many other styles and you can learn all about them at the library. So be sure to come by to check out a book and some of our other resources to learn more about art. Speaking of books, let's read one together. We're going to be reading Bob Ross and Peapod the Squirrel by Rob Perlman. My little squirrel friend, Peapod, needs a new home. He keeps dropping pepperoni in my hair. But we looked high and we looked low and we can't find the right one. <gasps> Wait, I have an idea. <sighs> now then, let's have some fun. They got their art supplies. <gasps> and it looks like they've started to paint. I wonder what they're painting. We'll use blue to paint the sky. And then we'll use white to make happy little clouds that just float around and have fun all day. We can use a painting knife too, which is like a regular knife, but you use it to paint, not to make sandwiches. We use the knife to spread a mix of blue and brown and crimson to make mountaintops. Then we use a paintbrush to make the mountain bottoms. It's just that easy. Peapod likes to ski, so let's add some snow for him. <gasps> oh no, there's nowhere for Peapod to go. Ooh. Let's use green and blue to paint a meadow before he gets to the bottom. Phew, Peapod's quick stop made some of the paint go splat. Oops, what should we do about that? Well, that was a happy accident. Don't worry, Peapod. We can do whatever we like in our world. Let's even use some more green and blue and some brown and even some yellow to paint a whole forest of trees and bushes. Here's your bravery test. Peapod, add more blue. And now there's a pond. Isn't that fantastic? I knew you could do it. How about a few more trees and bushes and grassy things? Just look at that and enjoy it. I think we're finished, don't you? Now this is a home for my little squirrel friend, Peapod. Isn't that such a nice home? And not a bad spot for me too. Happy painting. The end.